So this is the very boring, like, not finished version. But I will pistol start. This is a unfinished level as of right now. I don't actually know what I'm going to call it. But um, this is the last level I've been working on. I haven't worked on this in about, I want to say, four months. So, yeah. I like this idea that you've fallen into the like tunnel and it's all broken apart and you opened up a door and you got through the tunnel and it's like this. I, I like this. I also don't think I want to change the music because I quite enjoy this soundtrack for this level. So, I like both Doom 1 and 2. But as you can see, there's no monsters. It's all empty and quiet and fleshy and green and brown and it's all chipped apart like it's left behind and but this is like oh it's all dilapidated and oh it's gross and creepy and there's lava everywhere and ooh where's it go ooh uh so yeah you do need a key for this i have some of this built in i generally don't finish a level until it's done i guess like i i i go with like key cards and stuff after I finish the room design and stuff to figure out where I want things to go. I usually have an idea, but this is an unfinished level. Um, but no, this is actually intentional. There's no monsters here on purpose. Um, if we do crouch through here, you can actually go through this. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But yeah, they, you can see what I mean. I actually did design that like to be like everything's textured on the inside as well. It's a little unnecessary, but oh well. I also like this grooved pattern. I like this texture a lot. Um, oh shit. So, obviously, I'm gonna say it flat out. That's a death trap, and that's intentionally dickish. Because you can see there's items in there, like, ooh, cool, there's goodies. Don't go in there yet. It's a bad idea. It's, it's basically death. And you can see there's a difference in the texturing here. Um... The marble has actual marble pattern, and then the rocks have rocks. Like, it's natural, rather than, like, sunken in or whatever like that. You know what I mean. I This is all work in progress. This is not finished at all. I like this room here. Like, it's been torn out. And, like, they're tearing out parts of it to take to the dig site. I like that. Or it's, it's, it's slowly merging. I don't know. I like this idea. I also just like this texturing I did here. Like, it just little sectors you can see on the ground. I really like that. I I am actually kind of proud of this level so far. And then there's the caves. This is all pistol start because it's not implemented right. So, um, also I like the uh, bloom effect that GZ Doom adds. It gives these torches a really nice little glow. I don't like bloom, but it's fine in th with this situation. So, you may be thinking, Seth, did you have a stroke? There's no enemies. Um, no, I didn't forget to put them in here. It's just I wanted to give the player a fucking break. So, um, and just feel and explore and, oh, what's that? Oh my god, it's a bunch of imps. I better kill them. But they're not attacking me. Uh, once again, these are all using the friendly command. Um, that way they don't attack you and they actually follow you around. You can't really do anything with them. You can just sort of push them out of the way. They don't really do anything crazy. Um, but yeah, they're, these are like the little homes. It's where these these imps live. And there's a creepy visor that just sits out here and watches over the imps. It's like they may have been being used to make this mine shaft or the temple out there or something. Maybe they come up later on in this level story. Who knows? Ooh. Maybe they have little beds and candles and they, they live and this is this is how they do their things. They poop everywhere. But um, it, I also picked it up so it's gone. But the health vials are supposed to be from this water, which is why they're friendly imps. They're, they're like healers. They're like nomads or something. I don't know. I like the idea that they're not inherently evil. So... Our first Mancubi! Um, so, I did want to make sure the player didn't just fucking, like, encounter every demon ever. So, also, there's dead imps here. The Mancubi have basically been luring them into this, like, cave to kill them. 
I like that little like subtle storytelling I put in here. And you can tell it gets darker. So these are our first mancubi. Um like I said, this is a pistol start, so I don't have all my goodies. But you wouldn't have very many like rockets and stuff to deal with this normally. It's all designed, like I said, to be pistol startable. So here's our red key. And like I said, this map is not finished. Um, but hey, look at that! Our imp friends are coming in here! And they're going to encounter them. And it's really cool. I... I totally don't have plans for this later on in the mod at all, no. Um, and... Ow, fucking hell. I forget how hard Mancube I actually hit you for. I don't really get hit by them very often, but when they do, it's Dos Equis. Um, also, killing imps when they're friendly, or any monster when it's friendly, actually... Jesus. It actually, like, doesn't affect your score. So, like, you can see it's at 8 kills right now. And it's still at 8. So they don't actually influence your kills. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get that other secret as well. I think I should be able to tank this. I, I hope. Okay, perfect. So that's how you get the chainsaw on this level as well, and a backpack. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. But, if we run, and we haul some balls, because I wanted this to be a time puzzle. It's, it's a pretty cryptic one, but I really like the idea of how the fuck do I get this area. Because I, I just like that idea. So, yeah, that's how you get to this place. And all these tunnels actually go throughout the map. They're all designed, too. And of course, because I'm an asshole, there's an invisible cacodemon. And you get a plasma gun and some shotgun shells. It's a little... You can see what I mean? It's like, oh, there's two of these things. They're all over the place. Cool. So there's our imp bros. They get to live here in peace now because we killed all the fucking horrible mancubi. And there's actually, I think, six? Uh... I think? There's two in here. There's two in here. Two in here. Two in here. That's that's eight. I know how to count. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I know how to count. Um, yeah, I like the idea that there's a man cube by just living in this cave, and they're just occasionally, like, moving shit around to make burrows, and then the imps are like, No, it's our cave! And they don't attack you because you saved their little people. I like that. It's like a little environmental story. It's, it's cute. I, I quite like it, alright? <laughs> so... You can tell the theme of this level is browns, greens, and grays. Kind of like the last level, but I wanted it to be more of a marble, textured, like, fleshy. Like, actually, if I can describe it, the intention of this was to be that the flesh gets covered up with the stone, and, like, you peel back the stone and realize the insulation is actually... Sorry, the... Behind the stone is actually flesh. I like that horrible, horrible idea. Like, the insulation is just humans. It's really gross. I like it. I, I like the idea. You can see what I mean here. It's like, oh, that's fucking nasty. Like, the demons were just basically plastering and using them as, like, cocking. I like that. So, this is a glitch. For some reason, I could not get this right here, which I'm pretty sure is not textured properly. This was supposed to be a door, initially, that, like, opened up, but I could not get the door to open. I don't know what I did wrong to it. I tried copying in other doors from other maps I made, and it just wouldn't open. So, I just did that, and I said, fuck it, okay, cool. So, it's a teleporter, and I hope you're ready for it. So, I haven't added any, like, funny text yet. I will later on, but I usually do that last, if I'm honest. So, this is, you can see there's still the remnants. I actually kept the door idea. It was supposed to be a skull door, like that. Not like the blue skull, but like that, that big skull door. I think it's called Big Door 6 or something like that. Um, so we need a blue card to open the door. Which, obviously, I haven't, like, implemented yet. Or properly, I should say. It's supposed to be a blue skull key, but I haven't done that yet. For now, it just says blue, blue door. Also, I designed this as a pistol start to fuck you up by picking up this shotgun. Uh, it's a mechanic in Doom. 
where new weapons are automatically picked up. So, I like that. It's a little way to say, oh shit, and fuck the player up. So, I wasn't kidding when I said you can actually travel, like, through this lava. <laughs> like, it goes all the way throughout the map. So, I really like that idea that this is all connected, uh, even from a design standpoint. I don't remember where this goes. I think this goes... Yeah, this is the, uh, the fuck you area. Like, you can see why it's the fuck you area. You can get all the way here and then get cock-blocked by the, uh, uh, cacodemon. So, I like that. And this initially was not here. I didn't design that initially to be there, so the player just spawned and had to shoot immediately. So I said, okay, that's a bit bullshit. So, I'll put that there for now. This is just supposed to be like a cave crawl. And you can tell that it's different than the previous one. This is a more lava, there's more like hard rock, I guess. You can see what I mean? Like the last level was like softer tones. This one's more like dark and cold, which was the idea I had going into it. And now we start encountering Mancubi. And I really love Mancubi. They're fun to actually implement. And I love this. This is a bullshit area, and I did it on purpose. <laughs> like, you see what I mean? I did this on purpose, so the player had to backpedal out here. I really like this. It's stupid, but I like it. And we might get introduced to another enemy in this area, too. So, yeah. I like that. I don't think any of the autosaves are set up, either. So. Oh no, our imp friends! They're sad. They're in cages. That's sad. I feel bad for them. They just dance all day. So, what the hell? That's not normal. That's a dark imp. Ooh, Seth used more custom monsters. And you can see that, actually, let's go back. That's actually one of my favorite things I did. So, oops. Uh, if we lure this dark imp out here, because these are tagged as friendly, you can see that the uh, imps actually try to kill him because he's a bad guy. He's torturing them. He's a nasty imp. He's the dark imp. He's the bad guy. I like that. It's a little tiny storytelling thing that makes you realize these guys are actually like just slaves or something. I like that. Like the Vortigaunts in Half-Life. And then of course, there's another dark imp. But these guys are actually aggressive. Um, so you do have to kill these guys. I like the idea that those ones were the subservient ones. These ones are the ones that are actually bad. <laughs> so, yeah, the Dark Imps are supposed to be like, in my mind, they're like an imp hierarchy sort of thing. Like, they're just better Imps or something like that. Like the stronger version. Like the Barons and the Hell Knights, you know what I mean? That was my idea going into it. Um, and you can tell what I mean. It's getting more darker. It's getting more caves and cavey and dangerous and the areas are more windy and twisty and mobs can be like ambush more. I, I wanted it to be like that. We're gonna come back to that later. Um, so yeah, dark imps have a little bit more health than regular imps, but not by much. And they have a chance their projectiles can um, track you. Don't touch that yet. Um, this is not finished at all, unfortunately. So Bear with me here. Um, I, I don't know if this Archvile can actually attack you. I need to change this because he just kind of dances and doesn't actually attack you. This is the last area I was designing, so this is also not done. Yeah, these guys just... How they... Okay, they can claw you. Alright, uh, that's duly noted, I guess. Um, anyways... You also have a map in case you get lost. I wasn't a sadist and made it so you couldn't do it. But there's also a dark imp, huh? What the hell? Ah, he's gonna shoot me. What the hell? There's a dark imp in a cage. Bam, secret. I like that. It's a little, like, dumb, like, invisible wall secret. I, I quite like this one. Because, yeah, every other imp is a normal one. Why is there a dark imp in a cage? That's not supposed to be in there. Anywho. We'll pick up a blue skull key, which I I like this. I need to make this a bit better in my mind. So picking up that key 
probably spawned other things in the map. Ooh. But what were the arch files hiding inside of, you may be wondering. Well, it's pretty obvious, I'd hope. So, let's see. Okay, cool. Oh no, it's an arch file. Like, I, like I said, I don't want the player to get bored. And oh no, there's another one. Oh my god, there's so many arch files. And there's so many dickish things in this mod. Seth, you monster. You absolute monster. Okay, I heard him die. Good. Does this work? Uh, I don't think this room is gonna work, but let's... Because I, I didn't tag it correctly last time I did it, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, it does. Ah. Uh, this isn't good. <laughs> um... Obviously, you're supposed to come in here and there's a arch file directly in front of the door. And then these dark imps are in here. And this was supposed to open up into this kind of new environment where it's like brown and lava put together. Which, uh, this is where you get the next key as well, a yellow skull key. And if you couldn't tell, it was sitting in the lava. It's like it was being warmed up by the lava. <gasps> and if we go into god mode here this actually goes actually let's put on no clip as well no clip again uh, this actually goes into here the little lava trail and if we go over here we can see you can actually see this area and if you glitch yourself really hard into that you can actually pick up the uh, yellow key from uh, this area but you can see there's a lot of foreshadowing of the areas you'll go to, like, oh, what's up there? Like, you'd really stand still right there, but you know what I mean. So, this is not finished. I'm not really proud of how this looks yet, but I like the idea. And then, of course, that door doesn't work yet. And then we backtrack over here. And now the player can comfortably say, okay, you're actually safe. I gave you, like, a break, right? So, um... What else do I have in here? I think that's it. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, this is just blank map. Um, this is supposed to be the final area that opens up, I'm pretty sure. So, and then you have this room, which is the next area I was working on, as you can see. Uh, this is an unfinished room. This is not textured at all. It's really glitchy. Um, you can see I wanted to make it where this is a work in progress so don't take my word but um, yeah you can see what I mean this is gonna open up another area that lets you I have the idea of you have to hit these switches like one at a time while there's a shitload of like things barreling towards you like in um, tricks and traps and this is supposed to be a uh, like flesh monster staring at you and you have to like punch its eyes out or basically um but obviously this is not finished at all this is placeholder textures and stuff for now so yeah that's uh pretty much it and um yeah i'm really tired i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh obviously the link is in the description for my Dropbox where you can get this and give it a shot and it's also on the doom world forum so you can do that if you really want to and yeah I mean I'm quite a big fan of working in the doom engine Did I put a monster in there oh no it's just my terrible eyesight I don't think there's anything else in this level what the hell is this oh <laughs> it's like what else is in this level that I put in here oh let's see if I have it I want to see if I, I do Oh, maybe I do. No. It looks like I didn't. Um, normally I have an area. Let's actually go into... Oh, damn it. I don't know how to type. Let's go into no clip And god mode. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I normally have... Oh, dicks. There's supposed to be an area I have in every map. I might have actually removed it. 
but there's supposed to be a uh, testing area. I know I have one in one of these. Oh, we can do the... Uh, yeah, we can do the flesh and fear secret that I didn't show off. Or the, uh, the cheater, cheater thing. It's really funny. I think it is... You can also see how a Doom map looks when everything is, like, static. It's really weird. I don't think I have any testing, like, copy-paste areas in this map. But if I did, that'd be pretty cool. Because you guys can see how I actually have, like, a little paste bin of items and stuff. Like, the couches on, like, just... The <laughs> like, they're just there. Also, this is where the uh, demons spawn from as well. They're actually set to, like, spawn... What the hell? I actually... Oh, I thought that was the floor. I thought I thought the sector was moving. I was like, what the hell? I, I think that was a leftover idea. I'm not really sure. The This is actually passable by the demons, but not the player. And it's actually activated by this line def that's, I think, right here. But if you're in no clip, they won't activate. Anyways, I was going to show you that secret. Uh little easter egg thing so you can see there's no actual way to get into this sector it's all just there so if we go into it with no clip off must be fun to be a cheater I love that it's so fucking funny I like that it's just there because it's completely off limits you're not supposed to be over here but uh yeah I hope you guys had uh, a lot of fun watching, and um, I'll post updates on this as it comes out. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't be a cheater. I'll see you in the next one. I could listen to this song all day, by the way. Ins, <laughs>